Is there a rare unit you've had your eyes on that you've wanted to get access to for the longest time but haven't been able to because it's way too expensive? Well, what if I told you there was a way to do it? 100%, no clickbait, no lies. You can get whatever unit you want doing the strategy. Let me show you how. First, you want to go to the trading plaza. And no, I'm not just about to tell you to go to the trading plaza and they're all going to be there and you can buy them when you get enough gems. No, I'm going to show you how to get an unlimited amount of gems. Yes, I'm not lying. I'm not trolling. I'm not kidding. This is going to be unlimited so if you are excited to see this to get unlimited gems and get whatever unit you want for free make sure you guys press that subscribe button we we're trying to get to 50 000 subscribers by the end of the month okay check this out so we head on over to the marketplace obviously we see all the crates we see all these units and for example let's say i wanted to get myself the dj tv man right now he currently costs a hundred thousand gems that's definitely a little expensive the hyper looks a little bit more up our fancy. So obviously, the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man costs 24.5k gems. That is a lot. But at the same time, only 31,000 of them exist, and it's the best unit in the game for endless mode. So hopeless, how are we possibly going to get a bunch of gems? Obviously, everyone's going to say, oh, just go on over here and buy gems. So you can get 1,000 for 1,400 Robux. That is a scam. Let me show you. Someone just, I mean, that's one way to get gems for free. Let me show you how to get those gems for free. So obviously for the, ex the example of this video, we were trying to get ourselves the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man. But we needed like 20,000 gems or so. So we still need 20,000 more gems. How are we possibly going to get more of those gems? Well, ever since the new update come out, I have a secret to show you. So obviously everyone knows about the shop, everyone knows about the missions, and everyone knows about the event pass. However, if you scroll down just a little bit on the shop, you can see right here that you can convert your eggs to gems. Yes, that's right. And if you have 20,000 eggs, you can get 10,000 gems. This might seem like a lot and unreasonable, but it's not at all all so i'm sure everyone knows how to get eggs but i'm gonna show you the easiest and fastest and best strategy to get as many eggs as possible as fast as possible and for those of you that don't know i can control multiple accounts at once so not only can you multiply the amount of eggs that you get but you can multiply the amount of eggs you get by however many accounts that you're on it's insanity dude all right to speed run the easter event map as fast as humanly possible we're gonna use the hyper upgraded titan speaker man we're gonna use the green laser cameraman the santa tv man the toxic upgraded titan cameraman and of course the egg launcher cameraman he's gonna shoot eggs at your face so you better watch out and of course i'm running the double egg boost to multiply my eggs so i can get more per every wave all right let's go uh, i'm so excited by the end of this video to hopefully have enough to buy the dj hyper the dj hyper hopeless what are you talking about i just want the dj speaker man that's like the only super rare unit that i don't currently have also guys let's have a conversation so as of right now toy tower defense obviously peaks after every single update comes out so where do you guys currently feel and stand about the game? As far as player base goes and fan base goes and everything along those lines, there is still a lot of people, including myself, that are having a lot of fun with this game. I still enjoy the game. I've been doing it for six months. But where do you guys see the future of this game? Do you guys think they should continue making their fandom units like they have been in the most recent updates? This is something that I've been heavily vouching for for the longest time. Also, I've seen a bunch of people get partnered recently that have posted skibbity tower defense content. So do you guys think that I could potentially get partnered on Roblox or on Toilet Tower Defense? I have no idea. But this is our current strategy. We have the green laser cameraman placed all the way in the back. People always say I have L placement, but maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one that has L placement. Have, have you ever thought about have you ever thought about that? But either way, without further ado, I've been playing a bunch of other games on my other channel, Hopeless One. That's in the bottom of my channel and also in the description. And I was wondering, what are some games that you guys recommend? I know a lot of people like watching variety tower defense content, and I am open and willing to do that, but I wanted to ask you guys that are watching here right now. I've been playing a lot of random various games, but I digress. Let's get back to toilet tower defense. Can we kill this boss toilet with only a level three green laser cameraman? Is this something that can happen? Hey, boss toilet, you want to die, buddy? Hey, buddy, you want to die? Thanks, pal. Back in my day, we had to win by only using the upgraded Titan cameraman. Now you guys have your pleasant green laser cameraman. 
You got your hypers, you got your Santa TVs. We used to only have scientists. Y'all don't know how spoiled you are. Also, I know a lot of people are gonna think this is a weird take, and it is a weird take. Why are you wearing the toxic of Green Titan Cameraman? Because I love slowdown units, and I feel like his is actually the most effective. Sure, a lot of slowdown units actually say 25%, 50%, but for some reason, I'm not fully convinced they all work the way they're supposed to. But for the toxic, especially mixed with the green laser, I feel like you can legitimately and visibly see that the toilets are actually slowing down. Like for example, the Sinister is supposed to do a 75% snowball cooldown effect. I feel like I rarely ever see that like cooldown effect actually happen. I feel like it only has a percent chance of happening and that's why it's not actually listed on the unit. The same thing with like the Titan Present Boy that he will randomly do a 500% present bomb. I think that's how the Sinister's Snowball Bomb works as well. I'm not 100% sure though. Let me know what you guys think. We just had a rocket toilet come out of us like an absolute jet plane engine. But we're over here working our best to get all these Santa TV boys fully upgraded. We have one at level 6 or one at level 8 and then these two will be maxed out soon. And the Toxic Upgrade Titan Cameraman has been doing great. I highly recommend adding this unit to your team so far. We've made it all the way to wave 19 with only these two units relatively easily and i'm actually pretty fully convinced that just these two units alone can sell you to the end of the easter map everyone has their own special unique strategies that they like to employ these are just the ones that i do because they work the best for me here's the real moment that all you rugrats are waiting for we have our toxic great titan cameraman fully maxed out we now have our green laser cameraman fully maxed out we have the santa tv man fully maxed out so what's next up in the strategy of course none other than the hyper upgraded titan speaker man except i couldn't place him here um so we're gonna have to sell that because we want to get both of these placed can they not both fit here i've seen green there we go okay oh that made me nervous i just wasted a bunch of money selling the toxic after i had him fully maxed out but it was worth it because this is the best placement strategy i think you could possibly have now the hyper is going to absolutely cook for us I'm hoping that we can beat this map in less than 17 minutes. But 60 waves in less than 17 minutes, that's a big ask. But can we do it? I don't know. I'll even place the green laser cameraman up here to give my hyper more time to do more DPS early. Oh yeah, that's right. They're getting spawn camped. Not even the forklift toilet can get past this layer of penetration. Holy crap. We are going to have an unlimited amount of gems in no time. Once again, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're excited to see this and you are happy that you didn't even know about the gem and a converter at all. All right, it's wave 36. I now have finally upgraded my hyper to max and boy, did it not take him long at all. Imagine if I added another slowdown effect unit or if I added a, some type of a booster unit, we would be getting this done in no time flat at all. This is so amazing. I love the Easter map, by the way. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Easter maps. I always love when they add new maps to the game, especially even when they just change like the endless mode. I mean, we play these games so much that it's kind of the little things that matter that keep you engaged and compelled to keep coming and playing again. I mean, that's kind of why a lot of other TD games... But yeah, let me know what you guys think as well. Hey guys, check this out. I got myself a drawing pen. Look at look at this. Look at this thing. You see this right here? That's a toilet. <laughs> and then check this out. This this right here, that's me. <laughs> that is me. And let me let me show you what we're going to do to the toilets. Oh my god, I have a gun. He has a gun. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Whoa, I killed the toilet. Why? Dude, can you can you blame me? Look, I got look at how cool this thing is. It's a it's a it's a track. It's a track pad with that the, the, look I, I can I can control my oh I should hold on. I'm using the wrong side. Look, look, I I'm playing Toy Tire Defense with the with the pen. How cool is that? Alright, it's wave 53 and we're 17 minutes in. So, it's not looking like we're going to get this done in 17 and a half minutes like we were hoping. But, nonetheless, we are still smoking all of those toilets. I wonder how fast we're going to be able to kill the Easter boss with this build. Place your comments down below. I bet we beat this map in 18 minutes and 43 seconds. Is that a bold claim? I, I don't. I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? I'm just trying to get an unlimited amount of gems while I still have my double egg boost on. Oh wait, I didn't even tell you guys about this. 
whenever you guys are grinding, make sure you guys use your double egg boost. You can buy it with Robux or you can just be like a normal person and get it from the battle pass. My bold prediction's not looking good. We're over 18 minutes right now. Okay, it's wave 60. Yeah, we're 19 minutes in. Okay, so I guess we're just hoping for a sub 20 minute run at this point. But how fast are we going to take out the rabbit, rabbit, rabbit's toilet before it gets all the way down the conveyor belt? See, this is when that toxic and that green laser cameraman are our best friend, if you could not tell already. I don't really have that much money, but I'll place it on another hyper just in case. Oh, come on. Just kill it before it's out of this guy's range. Kill it before it's out of this guy's range. Yeah, just do a million damage really fast. That's all I want. That's all I want. Nice. Okay, perfect. And just like that, we got ourselves 500 eggs. And the beauty of this is, is that you can easily do that same strategy on multiple accounts as once as you showed, as I showed you guys in this video from the other day. So you guys should also be doing these strategies and you can easily get yourself over 20,000 eggs an hour. And how many gems is 20,000 eggs an hour? Well, let's find out. If you have yourself 20,000 eggs, that's just, that's right at 10,000 gems. That's literally all it takes so and if you do it on multiple accounts with the luck boost or the egg boost obviously you would just then get all those gems and then put it on whatever main account you want and then you could go on over to the trading plaza and buy whatever unit you want so let's say you farm for an hour that would give you a little over 20,000 gems you could basically purchase any unit that you wanted there's no hypers currently in stock but you would normally be able to buy one. There's no DJs, but you get the point. You would just have to stock out or snipe out the store. Pay attention to whatever unit you want. Let's say you wanted the katana. Boop, you got it. Basically, you just become a millionaire. Or if you really wanted to, you could just buy an insane amount of uh, whatever shop units you want. And it really is just as simple as that. So if that's something you're looking for, make sure you guys try it out. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out all my other videos. Make sure you click out the one that's currently on the screen as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I thought this was a great video idea. I appreciate all of you guys very, very much. And I will see you guys all again very, very soon. Bye.